And where's there exactly? The winding city, the nexus point between potential and reality. So we bought swords. We have to find some way to go back there again. This could change the whole way we look at this world. If you see any more of those things around, here's my card. Stick it on a convenient door and I'll come help. Kaj, these are my good friends. Well, I hope they're going to be my good friends. I've only just met them this evening. Except for Alethea. I've known her for ages. I mean, not ages, but... It's good know. to meet you all. My name is Kajanos Nadina. Just call me Kaj, though. And this is Bram. He's with Tama. Uh, I think she means we're flatmates. Uh, I just moved here. What nationality are you? That's a strange name. Whatever. And this is Tama. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, strong group. And this is Mary. She's single. Hi, nice she to meet you. She used to be together with So Tama. how are you related to Sarah exactly? Which brings me to my best friend in Wellington, Alethea. She's shy, but cute. Don't you think she's cute? I mean, because you're hot, like smoking hot. Oh, not that I'd, because, I mean, we're not related, but Dinan? Uh. Alethea. That's a Greek name. Doesn't it mean truthful one? <laughs> Falafel. <laughs> Come on, Ellie, pull yourself together. Go over there and talk to that hunk. No! I can't believe I told him my name was Greek for falafel! <laughs> oh, I was just so nervous and I was thinking about right. food. This is a disaster! Oh, now, now, Ellie, don't be like that. Look at him, he keeps looking over here. Hey, he's foreign. He probably doesn't really understand what you meant anyway. Oh, God. I can't talk to him, what do you even say to guys like that? Hi, you're hot, how's that working for you? <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, it doesn't often work, I should know. Oh, hmm. and this coming from the man who the closest coming out to his best friend is using the word accessorise in a triple word. <laughs> Tama, you've never said anything like that before to anyone. Hell, you've never been intimate with a guy before. Well, I... Look, rubbing legs with a cute guy on a bus does not <laughs> count. Look, am I going to have to take the both of you over there and do this myself? Hi, Kaj. Alethea likes you. Hey, Bram. Your best friend wants to jump your bones. Care for some chips? Let's find out. Hey. No! <laughs> so, you're interested in Māori culture? Well, it's more their myths, the, the legends they tell of the area. I'm a, a, a cultural archaeologist of sorts, you could say. Cultural archaeologist? Sounds kind of an interesting profession. I bet you use that one just to impress the ladies. <laughs> Amongst other things. Which you should really be telling Alethea, cousin. I'm sure she'd be fascinated to know what it is you do. Well, not what you do, but what you do that you can talk about. Not that you can't talk about what you want to talk about, but what you can talk about that you want to talk about is the kind of thing you can talk right. about. <clears throat> so he can talk about what, exactly? Precisely. Off you go, cousin. Hey, Ben. How's your night going? Weird. I kind of thought that Kaj guy was hitting on me. Maybe you said something to make him think you're interested. I don't think so. So we? Oh. Interested. <laughs> yeah, you got me. Very funny, too. <laughs> yeah, you got me. Gareth? What are you doing? Gareth? You're your Sadie's boyfriend, right? Two, you need to lay off the autumn scents and get yourself a drink. I'm gonna go get Sadie. Sweet. <laughs> Come on, Gareth, give me the snackies. Me. Sadie. My. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go help Bram find your girlfriend. Bram, there's something very hinky going on with Gareth. Hinky? People actually use that line outside of a Scooby-Doo episode? Serious, it's, he's acting really weird, like he's not Gareth. Okay, I think someone might be overreacting just a little. Look, on any other day I'd just ignore him, right? But I mean, after today's little Golden Compass meets C.S. Lewis moment, I'm not so sure we should be ignoring him after all, you right? Chinkies. Isn't that what Gareth was wearing when he came here? Uh-huh. 
<laughs> this guy has no face. Uh huh. Well, any idea what we should do? No. Uh, wait, I, I think I might have one idea. Oh, are you sure that would work? There's only one way to find out. Bram. Yeah. Getting something? <laughs> Good point. You can't just leave him here like this. Better cover up his face. Mind if I join you, ladies? No, not at all. Uh, Sarah, your drink is empty. My drink? I, I don't have a drink. I mean, I, I guess I could have a drink. I quite like something with lemons in it. Maybe. Let me help you with that, shall okay. we? So, Alethea. I, I take it you find it hard to talk to strangers? <laughs> no. Oh, yes, I mean, um, well, it's a long story. Um, I'm really sorry about flapping out before. It's just that I'm a bit nervous and, you know, thinking about food was... Um, you're hot. How's it working for you? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's just I have um, I've had a really bad string of dates and... Seeing someone who's attractive and seems very together, it kind of throws me. <laughs> Just waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm not familiar with that term. Um, it means it can't all be good. Oh. It has to be something bad. <laughs> well, how about I tell you a little bit about myself, and you can make up your own mind. I'd like that. Yeah. What the hell are you two doing? Oh, old Gareth here just got a bit off his face. Well, well, I'll get my hangover kit then. No, uh, we're fine. He just needs to sleep it off. Maybe you could go find Sadie and let her know. Okay, I can do that. Pick him up. <clears throat> Why are we in your room? Well, mainly. I didn't realize the room was taken, 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 taken so we, don't want to draw uh, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Um, this way, I can try this out in my closet and no one will be the wiser. You want me to get in my closet with you? <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to, you know, brighten things up a bit. I mean, look, Gareth's... Gareth's got no face. Who knows how many other guests are pod people? I mean, it's kind of creeping me out, man. Forgive me for needing to lighten the mood, Bram. I mean, <laughs> I know, Dama, just a really weak joke. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Well, don't look at me. I mean, I don't try to open portals to other dimensions with business cards. Uh, just flip it round or something. It's worth a shot. Oh, I hope that's not bad. It was very interesting spending time in Pompeii, seeing what was once a thriving city suddenly both reduced and preserved by the whim of fate. Wow, you're well, really you really love your cities, don't you? Well, to, well, be, to more be more precise, I love civilization and the odd, odd patterns, patterns that it weaves. Talk about it as if it's its own living entity. Well, in many ways, a, a living city is. Like, the people who move through it are like lifeblood. The buildings are like bone and sinew. Each city has its own personality, which sets it aside from all the other cities. I never thought of it like that. And do you study this at your university? Well, in a manner of speaking, I'm, I'm more freelance. I have a patron who helps me. I, I'm fascinated by the origins and the way that a city's own potential shapes itself. I mean, in this respect, I'm fascinated by Wellington. Why? Well, the shape, the people, the endless creativity that abounds itself within it. I find it fascinating. <laughs> but enough about me. I mean, tell me more about you. What is there for me to know about you, Alethea? Me? Um, <laughs> well... Um, I'm a proofreader at a local magazine. I flat with Mary. We've been best friends since secondary school. Um, I have two sisters and a cat at home. I like to write. 
and I have the worst dating record in history. Not a good thing to lead by, I know, but I thought I'd better give you a warning. I'm very wary about dating. Well, why is that? I seem to only get dates with very, very disturbed men. <laughs> well, maybe you just haven't found the one you're destined to be. You talk about fate a lot. Do you really believe in destiny and that sort of thing? Yes, very much. Looks like we're in the right place. I don't see him anywhere. Hey, check this out. What do you think those mean? Yeah, look how some of them have been circled. Like this one here in our place. Do you think maybe he's behind it? Behind what? Oh, you two. Are the masks back? Masks? Is that what they're called? What do they want? Why do they steal our mate's face? Well, wait. Your mate? I, I thought you two were. He means mate as in friend? What do you mean you thought we were together? Well, I got the impression that... How did you get the impression that... Bram, focus. We kind of have more important things to deal with here. We can talk about this later. <laughs> what do you mean, we can talk about this later? Please, Bram, dare us counting on us. You two are weird, says the guy living in this room. Anyway, as I was saying, the masks don't steal faces. Your mate, has he like changed behavior? Kind of become more emotionless? I did see him acting kind of, well, out of sorts, and then Bram found him and he didn't have a face. Oh, shit. Well, that explains it. Uh, we have to get back to your place, and we have to get there before the masks do. I thought they were already there. No, no, no. What you found is the antithesis of what the masks are. Your home is about to become a war zone, unless we act quickly. Unless we act quickly! So I just don't really know what I'm going to do. Yeah. It's it's tough, sorry. Hey guys. You're welcome. Hey. You enjoy the party? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Have you guys seen Sadie? Uh, I don't know. Uh, You've seen Sadie. I don't oh, know where it is. Okay. Oh, these better not be gate crashes. Vodka shop. Hey, you guys invited all. It's you.